If you want to start writing, then this video is for you. Welcome everyone, I'm Sid Ward and this channel is dedicated to the process of becoming a creative and living a free life. The way I see it, writing is one of the most fundamental processes we can perform when we're talking about creativity. Through writing, you can build a world, build characters, and tell stories in your own way. In this video, I will be going over one of the most important ways that you can prepare yourself and your workspace for writing. And this tip is to develop a writing ritual. Simply put, a writing ritual is a series of actions that you perform before and during a writing session. It's a routine that you commit to doing every time you sit down to write. First, I'll discuss why you need a writing ritual. Then, I'll walk you through my steps to developing your own style. Many great writers have taken advantage of the writing ritual or writing habit. Notable authors include Stephen King, Neil Gaiman, Ernest Hemingway, Toni Morrison, and Maya Angelou. These writers used the writing ritual to get themselves into a physical and mental state where they could create without any resistance. One of the biggest benefits to developing a writing ritual is that you can create consistency around the writing process. This will allow you to write more frequently and more efficiently. I should point out now that what you plan on writing doesn't necessarily matter. Whether it's research for a school project or for a work presentation, or if you're just simply getting the ideas out of your head, a writing ritual can help you maintain focus while writing. Personally, most of the writing I do is brain dumps, which are when you write to express any ideas that might be bouncing around in your head. Often I have many ideas for stories, animations, products, videos, all bouncing around my head at any given time. And performing a brain dump really helps me document these ideas and keep track of them. Typically, this kind of writing is very loose. I don't really pay too much attention to structure at this stage. You can make to-do lists, show lists, anything that's important. And although a lot of my notes start out on pen and paper, I often digitize them so that I can access them on any device, even a cell phone. So, I told you why you need a writing ritual. Now let me show you how I recommend you go about creating your own writing ritual. The first thing that I recommend is to find a set amount of time when you'll be writing and to be consistent about that time. I know a lot of you out there may not be able to spend hours at a time writing due to jobs and other responsibilities. Even if you're only able to write for 20 minutes, be consistent and take advantage of the small amounts of time that you may have. If you're able to make more time for writing, such as one to two hours a day, I recommend that you use the Pomodoro Technique. The Pomodoro Technique is a method for time management in which you break up your work time into small, uninterrupted periods separated by short breaks. The standard that I recommend starting out with is 25 minute work sessions separated by 5 minute breaks. You repeat this process until your writing session is finished. Here's a bonus tip. You can actually use the Pomodoro Technique for more than just writing. Personally I use it when I'm video editing, practicing the saxophone. You could even try using it at work if your job allows for it. Give it a shot. I will link a few Pomodoro apps and websites down in the description below. Feel free to try them out. The breaks are extremely important as they let you get up and stretch. It also gives you a chance to refill your tea or coffee. Here's the optional step. Get a drink or snack. My personal drink of choice is Earl Grey tea. I like this because of its distinct aroma. It really you know, gets my mind ready for the writing process. I know a lot of people drink coffee while they're writing. I think that's great. Uh, but whatever your drink is, just make sure you place it somewhere where you will not spill it on your notes or computer. And that brings me to step two, which is eliminating distractions. Some people choose to write with inspirational music playing or a podcast in the background. But I recommend, at least when you're starting out, to write in an environment where you have zero distractions. This means no music, no TV, no YouTube, no podcast, nothing. It's also best to put your phone on do not disturb mode. This prevents you from getting notifications that pull you out of the writing zone. Eliminating distractions was actually the main factor involved with me deciding to purchase this, a typewriter. I actually teased this typewriter in the end of my last video. I'll actually link that video up top if you haven't watched it. I recommend checking it out. I set up my creative journey in that video. I think it's a good watch. My main typewriter is an electric model, which provides more consistency in the way that the text looks on the page, in my experience. But honestly, you can get by with just about any typewriter that you'd find, as long as you have an ink ribbon and blank paper. I bought my uh, brother typewriter from a thrift store for about 12 bucks, which personally I think is overpriced, but you know, for 12 bucks you can't really beat it. I recommend keeping an eye out for these, they're really good tools for you know writing 
completely distraction free. If you choose to write with pen and paper, that's great. Just make sure you sit in an ergonomic position where you're not going to be straining your back or your neck. The same applies if you plan on using a computer or iPad for typing. All I recommend is that you silence the notifications or put them in do not disturb mode just like you would with your phone. If you're using a word processor, I recommend going into a focus mode of sorts. This is pretty much where the only thing on the page is just your words. Microsoft Word has this feature built in. You can also achieve a similar effect using the free app Pages, available on iOS and Mac. Ergonomics are also very important for typing, and this is why I often sit on the ground. This helps me find a position where my body will be comfortable, and allows me to use the core of my body to actually support myself instead of relying on a chair. This helps with blood flow as well as muscle fatigue long term. I recommend at least trying sitting on the floor once just to see if it's for you. Here's a tip for if you plan on sitting on the floor. If you don't have a table low enough, I always recommend stacking up some books. This can be a good option if you want to set your laptop or your iPad on it and start typing. So to recap, you need to find the time for writing, you need to eliminate distractions, and if you like, you can sit with a drink or a snack if that makes you happy. After you have all of those things set up, it's time for you to actually begin writing. While I can't give you all of the answers when it comes to staying motivated while writing, there are some tips I have that I think may help you out. Firstly, it's important to know what you are writing. If you're sitting down to write, let's say, fantasy or fiction, you may want to take 5 to 10 minutes beforehand and actually have a brainstorming session where you think about what you'll be writing. Think about all of the characters, the world building, the events. That way when you begin writing, even if it's just a brain dump, you'll have all of the ideas fresh in your mind. Next, you might want to grab some notes from previous writing sessions to keep yourself on track. What I do when I'm writing the script outlines for my YouTube videos is when I go in for my writing session, I often have my notes with me. That way I can reference them when I need to. Another tip is to not edit your work while you are writing. I know it can be hard to resist the temptation to go back and change things while you're writing, but try and just allow yourself to get the information onto the page. If necessary, I always recommend taking some time after your writing session to do minor revisions. I'm hopeful that by creating a writing ritual, you'll be able to unlock your creativity and begin writing what you want. Let me know some of your writing tips in the comments below. I look forward to engaging with you. I'll be continuing to document my creative journey and highlight my writing on this channel. So go ahead and hit subscribe to follow the journey. I'd really appreciate it. I'll also link my Instagram down below. You can follow my creative journey on there too. It doesn't matter what you're writing. What's important is that you write. So get out there, make time for it, and simply enjoy the process. All right, everyone, keep creating.